Speaker three is code one six seven performing some people. Te palo pa rumba, te cambio a ti, así, pa que respete aquí. Te palo pa rumba, te cambio a ti, así, pa que respete aquí. Para ta ta. This is my favorite song. Te palo pa rumba. Do you listen to salsa music? Ah, see the guy who made it, a very famous guy. His name is Eddie Palmieri. He's a composer. <laughs> so you tell me to bring something that I used to remember, and I bring this. <laughs> my stick and my bell. <laughs> I buy this to my son when he has one year, but uh, he never play it much. <laughs> he never want to listen to the salsa music. <laughs> he only want to listen to that fast music. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but it's my sign, so I keep it. <laughs> but you say we have to talk for uh, 45 minutes, but I don't really know what you want me to say. <laughs> Famed American author R.J. Gonzalez once wrote, a flower that has bloomed is already wilting. It begins its life with an early ending. One of the only memories I have of my grandfather is him sitting my father down and telling him, los hombres verdaderos no tienen lágrimas. Real men don't cry. The death of a child can devastate a parent, but what happens when a parent is unable to show grief, is unable to show emotion? In many of our communities, men must be the stoic pillars of support, even if they themselves are crumbling inside. In Danny Hoach's powerful one-man show, Some People, we find Cesar, a father looking for a life raft in the middle of a sea of despair, which makes us consider. If we lost someone so close to us, how would we even survive? As a Latino male in my community, we have to realize that the real men aren't the ones who don't cry. Real men, real fathers, are the ones who care for their families, no matter what. Cesar, from the one man show, Some People, by Danny Hodge. My wife, she tell me to come here because in my place, if you have a problem, you don't go to the therapist. In my place, if you go to the therapist, people say you're crazy. My friends find out I'm coming here. Whoo, forget it. They say, Cesar, go crazy. But it's my wife, and I trust her. <laughs> you see, she's a very modern woman. Huh? She read the magazine, and she tell me what to do from the magazine. Huh? Very modern, bien moderna. <laughs> oh, my son. Oh, well, he had a good heart. <laughs> Uh, he never say the bad word to nobody. Uh, he never do the punching to nobody. He had a good heart. <laughs> I remember this one time. We are in, in Prospect Park, allá in, in Brooklyn. And it's the bird, the, uh, the pigeon is on the floor because uh, a car going to come hit it or something. And my son, he go up to the bird and he say, get up from there, huh? You can't be on the floor. You got to fly. And then he said to me, Papi, we got to take the bird home. I say, can you imagine what your mother will say to me when I bring a dead bird from the street? It's dirty. We can't take it home. But he had a good heart. <laughs> and he get a little older. He, he put on the fancy clothes. Bueno, not fancy, but whatever. <laughs> he put on the cologne. He put lots of cologne up in there. Huh? <laughs> he go with his girlfriend in the high school. 
Because you see, my son, he's just like me. He's very handsome like his dad. <laughs> and so always I say to him, I say, Cesar, because his name is Cesar, like my name is Cesar. I say, Cesar, I love you. <laughs> Cesar, I love you. <laughs> and he just says, I know, I know, papi. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear it. He wants to be the big man, huh? But I say it to him anyway. <laughs> because I look in the, in the Oprah Winfrey show, Dirty Family. They got five kids, they got seven kids, they got eight kids. And never say, I love you. And what's the kid? In the drugs, in the problems on the street. Me and my wife, we have one son, my sister. And so always I say to him, Cesar, I love you. <laughs> because someone has to. I remember this one time when he had one year old, we throw this big party for him. I invite all my family from Puerto Rico, all my wife's family from Puerto Rico. They come all the way from the island to my little house in the Bronx, huh? <laughs> all for his first birthday. And I remember my wife and her sister are cooking that day. <laughs> if you ever had what they were cooking, forget it, huh? <laughs> and somos Latino. So there's a lot of dancing and a lot of salsa music. Then I hear it, the song. And so I say to everybody, I say, shut up in this house because me and my son, we're going to do the palo parrumba. That's the song that I did for you before. And it's my favorite song. So they put him in front of me and I grab the stick and the bell and together we, we do the palo parrumba. <laughs> Te palo parrumba, te cambiaste así. Pa que respete aquí, vamos te palo pa rumba te cambia a ti así. Pa que respete aquí, para ta ta ta. And we do the whole song, and it's a long song. <laughs> and when we are done, everybody is like, wow, because you only have one year. <laughs> I like that memory. I take that memory and I put it right here. <laughs> but a few months ago, my son, he come up to me and he say, Papi, I'm going out. And I say, where are you going? And he say, to the movies. <laughs> movies. <laughs> but I say, okay. And I say, Cesar, I love you. <laughs> Cesar, I love you. <laughs> and he just says, I know. I know, Papi. <laughs> And that's a, well, that's when I lose him. It's very confusing because the police, they say that he was running from something and, and they were shooting at him, but, but I don't know. And my wife, she come home from working and she's always crying. And I come home from working and I can never sleep. How am I supposed to go to work if I can't sleep? Huh? <laughs> And my wife, she said to me, Cesar, you better be getting some sleep. Yeah, you better be getting some sleep. <laughs> well, if I get some sleep, you better stop crying, entonces. Huh? But my wife, she says to me, Cesar, if you ever feel bad, you have to take everybody in your life that loves you and you put them right here. So I say to myself, who loves me? My wife, she loved me, I put her right here. <laughs> and my brother, he loved me, I put him right here. My sister, she loved me, I put her right here. My Cesar, he loved me. I put him right here. And I know he loved me because that day that he went to the movies, he said to me, Papi, I love you too. It's the first time he ever said it. But I hear. But it's still cold in here. 
and I wake up every morning and I think that I hear that and maybe my son is singing to me. <laughs> but I know he's not. Because my son, my son, I don't know. I just miss him. <laughs>